I'm back, and that's just what it is. I'm coming in hot today because I'm sick of this shit. You see the guy on the screen, Takashi69. The question of the day is, hip-hop, what the fuck were you thinking? Um, let's start with the obvious. You got a guy with multicolored hair, some shit I never saw before. Just be accepted. Um, this guy started rapping as a hobby. Wait, look, as a hobby. No passion for the art form. No battles on the playground. No lyrical skill. Just as a hobby. Because somebody told him that goofy ass haircut looked cool. And the way he was wearing these colorful outfits and oversized clothes. Oh, you look cool. So he said, hmm, how do I parlay this into some money? And he decided to become a rapper. Now, far be it from me to hate on somebody for trying to get money. Use what you got, right? But it's you, the audience, that I'm upset with. Like, that you accept this in hip-hop. And we're going to get to, a little bit later on, uh, all the different dynamics that go into sales and what makes somebody popular. I'm just going to touch on that uh, briefly. But the, the main fact of what I'm going in on today is what the hell is wrong with hip hop that this is the kind of stuff you accept nowadays. Uh, this He's had a long and uh, I won't say long, but it seemed like forever that this guy was out here causing all of this trouble. Uh, got the, the sex case was a problem that got dismissed somehow. Uh, child sex, uh, having sex with an underage female. He goes on to collaborate with artists like Nicki Minaj. And I heard he was also in the studio with Kanye West. The shit we co sign that we now know what's up with Kanye, right? Just lost it. That's that Kardashian curse. That's another show, right? But for Kanye and Nikki to go in the studio with this guy, that's giving him a stamp of approval. This goofy ass dude with this crazy hair with, who's biting the style of Onyx. For you knuckleheads out there that don't know who Onyx is, go to Google or better yet, go to YouTube and type in Onyx, throw your guns. Get hip to the architecture, right? Uh, that's where he stole that style from that you guys love so much. Except they actually could spit. This guy's just screaming some bullshit, right? Uh, August 10th, he got his probation revoked. Was this 17 or 18? I don't know. Uh, he accepted a plea deal on a case where he was accused of Assaulting a police officer. Listen. Let me just back up a bit here, right? We built you a culture. People that actually care about hip-hop, who know how to do this, who can spit, the guys that DJ, the graffiti, the dancers, all that. We, we built you something. We gave you some of the most intelligent street poets ever. Melly Mel, Cool G Rap, Biggie, Pac, Pimp C. What about Dipset? Like, think about this, right? Y'all took it and evolved it into Yin Yang Twins. Tum Tum. Remember Tum Tum? Uh, oh, okay. Remember Tum Tum? Roscoe Dash, Lil Uzi Vert, Soldier Boy. How about the Shop Boys? Remember the Shop Boys? How much you love the damn Shop Boys. What, what song did they have? Was that Party Like a Rockstar? I mean, if you're drunk and you're hanging out in a club with mixed company, Okay, I might rock out to party like a rock star, but stop crowning these cats. Stop crowning them. You, you, you're killing me right now. Uh, what about Baby Boy? Remember Baby Boy the Prince? No, I know you don't. I know. Uh, 
you let this guy Takashi in your circle with the weirdo hair, uh, biting onyx. Listen, when that dude, fuck all the trolling that he did, which we all knew was trolling. It was clear. When that guy talked shit on Jay Prince, y'all should have jumped up and did something about that hip hop, wherever he landed at. Whether you from the east, whether you from the west, south, it don't matter. Jay Prince is a legend. All the work he put into this game, all the acts he put out there, all the records sold, all the credibility. And y'all let this dude, this dude right here, talk down to Jay Prince and then his crew. Jay Prince's crew, I think, got robbed by these guys. And y'all letting this dude walk around and y'all co-signing and bringing, into, bringing him into y'all radio station trying to get clicks. Because he didn't got 100 million views on a dumbass video because a bunch of people that don't know the art form is co-signing this. You older ones, you, you should know better. Let me tell you how, how far, far you have fallen, hip-hop, hip-hop fans. Remember Mob Deep, the infamous album? Remember Jay-Z, maybe Reasonable Doubt, or his second album? Y'all don't even like real gritty street shit right now. Uh, I don't care what you rap about. Kinda, right? I just wanted to be creative. You guys don't even have time or the patience to listen to somebody like a Benny, the butcher, Buffalo stand up, Conway, the machine, uh, West Side Gun. These guys, y'all don't listen to Nas anymore. We gave you Nas. That's a gift on a silver platter. That dude is generational in his talent. He's one of the greatest poets ever. Not just rapper. Greatest poets. That's what we gave you. And this is what you gave us. I know I'm pointing in the wrong direction. I'm new to this shit. Now, <laughs> and I really knew it was messed up. Listen, when Skinny Jeans came in, when skinny jeans came in, man, that was something. Uh, <laughs> I tried to slow it down. Uh, people didn't listen. I guess everybody's still wearing skinny jeans now. My black brothers is a little bit done with having your uh, jeans so tight, let's say. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just lost right now. You, this guy is in your midst doing all this trolling, dissing legends in our game. Um, he's shooting videos on blocks that he ain't even from. Just the kind of shit y'all on, man. You letting this guy show up. What Was it weed? Was it money? What did he give y'all? I don't know. But he shows up to a block he's not even from to shoot a video. Put on some colors and now he down with the set. Whether or not y'all was trying to extort him and y'all was making big money or not, that's irrelevant. Because y'all had a rat in y'all midst. And that's what happens when you let a fuckboy into your circle without being vetted properly because he might got a little money or a little flash. That's what happens. Y'all not moving no smoother than that, but this is hip hop too. Y'all co-signed that, this guy rolling up, shooting videos on blocks that he is not from. Switching sets, not just one set to another. Shit, I'm a crip one day and I'm a blood the next day. Where the fuck they do that at? I'm not condoning the gangbang and lifestyle. Some people, and I'm not hating on it. Some people come up in that. Some people, you have to choose to either join or die. That's your financial circumstance, such as the existence of African-American and Latino men and women in the United States of America. But 
if you're going to choose some shit like that, choose, nigga. Y'all knew he was a crip before, supposedly. And y'all let him in y'all squad. While he run around here doing all this reckless stuff. Listen, after he after the probation uh, got handed down, probation, probation revoked, went back to court, yada, yada, yada. Fast forward, he fires his whole team. Fires the management, um, the guy Shoddy, that his name, whatever. The whole Treyway, he fired all these guys. And I heard somebody speculate somewhere that the reason why he fired them was because he was basically an informant all along. And he was trying to get free from them uh, so they wouldn't catch him doing what he was doing. And and plus, I, of course, you heard the phone calls that came out and they were plotting against this guy. So he fires his whole team and then becomes a snitch. Maybe he was already a fed the whole time. We don't know. It certainly looks like it. It's certain when you and your boys are engaged in criminal activity, such as, let's say, beating up another group of men. Why? Who the fuck filmed that? Somebody from that crew filmed it on a cell phone. I think it was your boy, 6 9 Hip hop. Listen. You're committing a felony and your boy is filming it. Where I come from, you try to hide evidence, not preserve that shit. Now you surprised. Now you surprised that he took the whole squad down. You're shocked. Dumb motherfuckers. You fucking the game up. Everybody want to rap the same and shit. The shit y'all go for. Same cadence. Talking about bullshit. High squeaky voices. All of your superstars is under five foot six. What the fuck is going on? Motherfuckers running around here wearing purses and shit and glitter on their eyelids. Y'all co-signing that. You going to the concert too? You bought the ticket? You got the t-shirt? Screaming, front row, trying to get a selfie? On this fuck shit that y'all doing right now? Listen. I'm going to give you a couple names, okay? We're going to start back up with Benny. Benny the Butcher. Go go listen to Dirty Needles, you dumb motherfuckers. You, if you're from the street, go listen to Dirty Needles. Just listen to the lyrics. Conway the Machine. Listen to A Thousand Corpses. Listen to Wraithful. Uh, Lupe, he got all kind of stuff. Kendrick Lamar, you already know about this guy. Shit. White people had to get you to come over to 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 hook up with the Kendrick thing. Y'all almost wasn't even listening to the dude except out on the West Coast. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But people I was talking to when he got popular with the white folks, which that's fine. White folks can be hip hop fans, too. It's just like, but who's driving the culture? That was the point I wanted to get to earlier. Who's driving the culture? All these clicks, 150 million clicks. So I can't blame all the hip hop purists or all the hip hop fans for not being as pure as I am, right? Because you got some uh, interlopers in here. You got some people that don't even belong in this space, clicking people, making them hot and telling BET awards, this is your hottest rapper. It's, it's not. They're not. Spit me some shit that made me go, God damn. Okay, then we could talk. If you can't do that for me, what the fuck we doing out here? Somebody gonna say I'm cussing too much. Let's go. Let's go. Who else? Luda. Remember Luda? We gave you Luda. We gave you T.I. We gave you Snoop Dogg. Uh, shit. And y'all took that and y'all gave me this shit. Where my finger go? Y'all gave me this. I can't rock with that. Now, if we leave the game to y'all in this state, the way y'all going, what you showing me right now, if we leave this game to you, it's dead. Because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Tighten up. We in the building. I'm Mike Powers. This has been the Mike Powers Minute. If you like the content, hit the like button. 
Subscribe to this channel because there's more coming up. I'm Mike Powers. We out.